know what people are thinking. Clean up. Get with it. Do better. Work harder. Shave. Get a haircut. Hair is weird. That's the truth. Teeth, eyeballs, two hands, a bum. It's all weird. And no one ever mentions it. That's what's really weird about it. Because we all know how weird it really is. The question is, should I just do what I did yesterday? Walk out onto the street and pretend everything is normal? Go buy a coffee and a paper, sit down in a cafe and just ignore the facts? Just me in that bed always comes back to that. Is that normal? Must be. It's a story about a man who breaks things, expensive things, like a pyromaniac, except he breaks things. Vases, hardware, lamps, windows, etc., whatever. It's the continuing disorder of the universe. This is a man not in touch with other men, but rather with the universe, the continuous disorder of the universe. The crux of the story is his struggle to be like other men, to be in control of his neurosis, thus denying his true nature in order to live in society, a society which is thereby out of tune with the universe. So, we begin with this man, an average looking guy who you wouldn't take much notice of in the street. But be careful, for if you happen to be carrying a newly purchased breakable item, Hair, hair everywhere. I wish I never had these thoughts about people's fingernails and teeth and eyeballs. If I only knew what it meant to have these thoughts, maybe I could make a story out of it. I'm just gonna get my hair cut, that's all there is to it. Then I won't think about it anymore. If I was just to keep walking and walking and never stop for anything, I wonder what would happen. I'll get really thirsty. Eventually, I'll pass out. I guess that would be about six miles from here, outside of the city. Some people might stop and an ambulance will be called. Somebody's gonna ask me what I was doing. I suppose I'll have to give some sort of an answer. I need a coffee and some water. I wonder if they'll charge me for the water. Why do I have to feel all this stress just for wanting a cup of water? They look at you like they don't get it. Like they've never needed a cup of water. I should get a paper and find out what's going on. Okay, it's about this guy who has to drink a keg of beer every week or the mafia is going to kill his family. So uh, he has to go out looking for his family because they're being held hostage. Uh, but of course, he's really drunk all the time, so it's difficult.
This is so sad. I got a bit freaked out the other day. I saw this movie on TV about all these characters and how their lives crisscrossed. There weren't any main characters, just a collection of everyday people going about their business. I think it was a story about how you never know what's going to happen. But I'm not sure because before the theme comes to a sublime conclusion, which is what I was hoping for, one of the characters blows his brains out in the last minute of the film. Then the next day, I couldn't stop thinking about it, over and over in my mind. He killed himself, he killed himself. Things weren't that bad for him. He was okay. Keep working. Something will crack. It should be personal. So many possibilities. So many experiences. Ugh. Right, just keep writing. Maybe people I knew in school. A story about meeting one of them later in life. It's a story about a guy who one day sees the guy that bullied him as a kid. So uh, he follows him down to the subway. He's thinking, you know, murder. You can, you know, this is his big chance. He can push him in front of the train type thing. So uh, anyway, uh, there's a big commotion and instead it's our hero that gets pushed in and he's dead and uh, a ghost, you know, wandering around the tunnels trying to figure out what went wrong. Thank you very much for your time. Hi, is this Mr. Parker? Yeah, this is Tom calling from New Life Medical Benefits. We're doing a quick survey today. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Do you have any questions? Oh, goodness. Hello? Mr. Edwards? No, I don't want to talk to the babysitter. No, we're, I assure you, we're not selling anything. This is a survey, sir. Can I call back later? Let's go. No. Have a nice day.